We begin with a small Milwaukee nonprofit that last year saved close to 1,000 women from the evils of human trafficking. All thanks to passion, dedication, and a hardworking team. These are faces of salvation. They're next to written testimonies of praise. Praise for this place that gave these women a new life away from harm. They all sought help here at the Convergence Resource Center, headed by Dr. Deborah Lassiter. I'm curious how she came up with the name. We got the name because I was sitting in a uh, computer class in uh, New York next to where 9-11 had happened. And they were talking about um, when all the computers work together to accomplish a single goal. It's called convergence. And that common goal is noble. Help women escape human trafficking. We actually started because of the women at the Robert E. Ellsworth Correctional Center because they were complaining that when they got out, there was no way for them to escape the life that they had come from. And we said, there's got to be a way. There's got to be resources. Last year, CRC assisted close to 1,000 victims. Teams even traveled to major sporting events like the Super Bowl to find ladies in danger. We do flood places where people are coming in uh, to the Super Bowl and we can tell that they're coming in to work to make sure that we give them something so that they know that they can reach out for help. CRC operates a call center for those needing immediate aid. The service is free. We help a lot of women that we never see because women call us from all over the country. People get information on help with food, shelter, safety. CRC staff finds resources. Some victims are recommended by the Department of Justice. Others, word of mouth. Believe it or not, word of mouth inside a prison is faster than the internet. So <laughs> really? A phenomenon that we saw really in big numbers last year was women escaping and driving up here because they were living in their cars with their children. Women who do show up in need get what they call SOS bags of personal items. And if you may have seen, these are the Bamba socks. We give them about 10, 15 oh. pairs of socks. Dr. Lassiter tells me the toiletries are full-sized for a reason. Some of them tell us the smaller size ones are triggers for them because that's what was in the hotel. Dr. Lassiter gives great credit to her staff for CRC's success. I have a great team. I mean, my team, uh, for, for 13 years, my team worked without being paid at all. We were all volunteer. My team works like they're getting paid millions of dollars, and I'm telling you that they're not, but they will make every sacrifice. If a woman walked in our doors right now, they would stop everything they're doing to help her. CRC board member Arnold Syfax Sr. is a youth director at New Testament Church of Milwaukee. He oversees HEMAD, a group that enlists men to help fight trafficking. You may have a frat party and have uh, women come over, do you know their dance or lap dance and things of that nature, and uh, they may be a part of sex trafficking. Earlier this year, HEMAD had young men sign pledges against the trafficking of women. Human trafficking is an evil that needs to be dispelled, uh, an evil that needs to be eradicated. He gets choked up thinking about the devastation of trafficking. It's a bittersweet because when you see the harm that is done to people as a whole, um, it forces me to think about whew, <laughs> forces me to think about my own family. Both Syfax and Lassiter are proud that they're shaping, changing, even saving lives, Four, making yeah, their hard work all the more rewarding. I don't get up in the morning and go, oh my God, this is going to be a terrible day. I get up in the morning and say, we're going to help somebody today. Let's get it going. <laughs> so my whole push has been, how can I help people? How can I care for people? How can I pay it forward? And as we started helping them, seeing the changes in their lives, and seeing women fight to get past whatever was up against them and being able to be support and help for them. And then also, I firmly believe that I'm called to do this. Very impressive. The Convergence Resource Center has a virtual fundraiser coming up August 10th through the 14th. And we have a link to the center's website at tmj4.com.